Hey guys, this uh, Kim Mike 84 here back again. Pretty much you're going to do a tutorial how to upgrade and remove the RAM. And if I, this laptop is going to be quite easy how to do that. If we could locate to the hard drive, um, that's a little bit more easier because it's a notebook uh, laptop because it's bigger compared to a netbook. But anyway. Uh, the RAM actually, uh, is not located in the bottom, but I'm indicating that the RAM should be in right here. Anyway, uh, what do you do is close it up. This is going to be all one hand, so it's going to be a pain. So, you you see these little notches right here. Right here, it says a little keyboard. I'm trying to block that off. See with that one right here. Right here. Right here. And right here. That's where you remove the actual screws to. Uh, to remove the hard drive no oh, come on oh, I don't like these This freestyle stuff is kind of an let me pause it real quick, I'll be right back. Alright you guys, I'm back again. I'll pause it for a second. This is the screw that you remove from here. From here. From right there. And right here. Anyway, who cares about the code? What do you do next? If you flip it around, move this side. Because it's exposed. What do you do next? Is there's a little latch right here. And right here. You pop it, you could use your. Here, let me pause it for a second, real quick. I'll be right back. There's actually one more screw, but anyway, that's already done. What it does, it pops out, and you'll see it. Yeah, I'm missing one more. Cause that's what it is. I'll be right back again. Make sure that you remove these other screws. Uh, that one popped out. There's that one right here. See what comes out. See, pause real quick. Well, I'm back again, you guys. What you have to do is you have to pop it this way or outward and it comes off. And you could remove the little thing right here if you want. Well, comes up, it just pops out pretty fairly easy. And we're done, you just put it back in there. It's all popped in right here. See that? And then the logo comes off. There you go. That's it for now. The hard drive is actually right here. It's around the corner. <sighs> Let me see what type of memory it has. I know it's the same memory. 
There it is. Uh, it's two gig. This one is same number. It's actually the same thing. Actually, just uh, anyway. So that's one part you do. It's really simple. I'm not gonna remove. What you do is you lift this part and this part, and it just pops up. Take that out. That's it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the two gig, the bottom. And I'll show you how you guys install it. So it's at a 90 degrees. Uh, what you do is you get it and you do it at a 90 degree in. You shove it in here. Nothing's going to happen. You push force in it enough that's going to dang, uh, dangle for about 90 degree. What you do is you push down the weight. There you go. Simple as that. Same thing, I'll do it again. Uh, this is one gig, so this is going to have three gigs of memory. What you do is you slide it in. It's going to dangle. That's it. Simple as that. That's it. Upgraded to three gigs now for the time being. For I'm going to be real quick. I'm going to see how to remove the hard drive at least and to show you a little bit what it is. Anyway, I'll be right back. One second. Well, I'm back again. One thing to remember, I did a really big boo boo is to remove the battery. I'm a retard, I keep forgetting when I do that. Then I'm working on PC. Well, it's really simple. There's a little cord right here. I found the hard drive. What you do is you yank it, it comes off. It's a uh, uh, it's a Hitachi 7200 RPM SSD, really simple, some type of compartment they have is rubberized to, what do you do, you hear that noise, it's back in there, same thing again, we'll pull it, Upgrading this thing would be quite easy. Put I would probably put the this um, a different type of hard drive instead of this because it's quite old. What you do is you slide that back in there. There you go. Let me show you what's in here. Keyboard. Actually, let me pause it real quick. I'll be right back. Well, I want to show you a little bit what's inside. A little bit dirty, but I don't have a can, fil uh, can filter here. You gotta be very careful in here when you're doing this, because this is looks like a solder down there. What you have to do is you have to pull the the keyboard frame the bottom. I don't want to mess around with this too much. I don't want to break it. Um, but anyway. What it is for her. But anyway, this is pretty much a tutorial of what to do. Uh, just put back the cover back on, put the screws. Um, quite easy. Make sure this is back in here. I'll slide that back in there. So yeah, the keyboard just slides like sits there. That's all it does. It's hold down by weight of that plastic thing. So, uh, anyway, I'll be right back real quick and finish this item. Um, Alright. Alright, you guys, I'm back again. I put all the screws back. Like it was. Keyboard's holding down. The weight. A little messy. Let's turn this on. Okay, a post. Halo, Windows Halo is going. So I shot myself three gigs. Hard drive is like right below, right here. And I installed the plastic thing right. 
So I'll just do it back in a little bit, but no big deal. There it is. Been three gigs of memory. That was quite easy. Wish I could do four, but three gigs should be plenty enough. I have a lot of this memory. Let's see if I could find one more of these laying around. I could put four gigs. So yeah, so it's quite easy. You guys have any questions? Leave a comment down below. All right, you guys. It's Kim Like Eighty Four. See you guys a little bit later.